The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to speak in support of H.R. 5034, a bill to designate the United States Post Office located at 2119 Market Square in Christiansted, St. Croix, as the Lieutenant General Samuel E. Ebison Post Office. Lieutenant General Samuel E. Ebison, a native of St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, has led a distinguished career in military, business, community, and public service. Throughout his tenure, General Ebison held numerous key command and staff positions, demonstrating exceptional leadership and dedication. From his role as operations officer at the 7th Infantry Division in California to commanding the 1st Brigade, 101st Airborne Division, and the 6th Infantry Division, his impact has been profound. Notably, he led the Department of Defense Joint Task Force during the rescue and recovery operations following Hurricane Andrew in South Florida, showcasing his unwavering commitment to service. His illustrious military career culminated in his retirement as a three-star general in January of 1997. As a young man at City College, Lieutenant General Ebison became great friends with former Secretary of State Colin Powell, who became his professional mentor. As two Caribbean men in New York, they became fast friends and supported each other's military careers. General Ebison had the honor of being one of few people who spoke at the funeral services of Secretary Powell. By passing this bill, we recognize the significant contributions of a remarkable Virgin Islander whose life and career exemplified the very best of what it means to serve both in uniform and in civilian life. We also acknowledge the sacrifices and achievements of Lieutenant General Ebison and affirm our commitment to honoring those who have served with distinction. Virgin Islanders have served this country in military service at its inception, even before we were a part of the United States, in every conflict, from Alexander Hamilton as aide-de-camp to General George Washington, to scores of young men who volunteered in World War II and then served in Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, and today. Virgin Islanders have gladly answered the call in greater numbers per capita than elsewhere on the mainland. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 5034 and ensure that the legacy of Lieutenant General Samuel E. Ebison as an example of the service of men and women is forever preserved through the naming of the Market Square Post Office in St. Croix in the town of Christiansted where he grew up as the Lieutenant General Samuel E. Ebison Post Office. Thank you and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields. The gentleman from Maryland reserves. The gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized. 